Welcome back to Once Upon a Tiny Farm. My name's Drew. In today's video, I wanna talk about how I've been feeding my chickens and I've been feeding them rice and beans over the last month. And in this video, I wanna tell you some results and some interesting things I found about feeding my chickens rice and beans. So stick around. So if you haven't seen the last video I did on this topic, I did it about a month ago. I'll put a link above to that video where I fed my chickens rice and beans for a week and talked about the results I had. In this video, I've been trialing it a little bit longer and some people have commented that they'd be interested to see a follow-up video and here it is. And spoiler alert, the rice and beans works. Um, I'll show you what I, what I have right now at the moment. I have a bucket of, these are, this is brown rice and pinto beans in here. Um, depending on how much I, of a batch that I make at a time, um, it's been lasting me about five or six days. And how much I've been giving them is, this is my measuring cup. I've been giving them two big scoops in this coffee cup. Um, it says it's about 10 ounces in here. Not sure, this is probably at least two cups, so I'm probably giving them maybe more than they need, but they seem to eat it all um, every single time. If I give them two scoops, if I, I've given them three scoops, they eat it all, nothing's ever left, but I'm pretty sure that it leaves them pretty full and satisfied. So I tried a bunch of different recipes of making this. The first time I did it, I did a batch of brown rice with uh, green split peas and I think black beans. And that worked really good. And that's the one that I first did in that first video. Um, lately, I've just been using what I had. I've been using brown rice with uh, either black beans or kidney beans or pinto beans, a real beefy bean. And um, I'll show um, the size bags. I'm not sure, um, whatever the bag size I get, it's at least a pound or two of beans. I just pour the whole um, bag of beans into my instant pot and then I put at least a pound or two of rice on top of that cover it in water and I cook it on high pressure for about 20 minutes and that's how I make a batch uh, of the rice and beans for my chickens that has been lasting me like I said around five six seven days uh, depending on how I ration it throughout the week so after I did that first uh, couple trials of rice and beans uh, like I mentioned in that first video um, I did a couple more batches um, with different kinds of beans, and they were laying pretty consistently. Um, what's going on in the uh, nesting I noticed box, ladies? The, their laying started to drop off a little bit, but that also was about a month ago when we were having some changes in the weather. We had some warm days and then some very cold days, and I think it was messing with their cycles. I'm not sure it had anything to do with the food. But um, after a while, I kind of got... Um, my time got taken away by my farm and I didn't have the time to make their food every couple days, uh, even though it doesn't take that much time to do. Um, I just had other stuff going on and didn't feel like making their food. So what I did was I went to Tractor Supply and got a bag of, a 40 pound bag of organic uh, layer feed for my laying birds. And I started feeding them that feed instead. And I actually noticed that they, they didn't lay at all for the first like two or three days after I started going back to that uh, layer feed um, after the rice and beans. But then it slowly started to pick up um, and they started laying eight to nine eggs a day from that layer feed. So the layer feeds do work. They're made and formulated to give the chickens everything they need to make it really, really simple for, the, for yourself and for your flock to uh, produce lots of eggs and keep them healthy. So. I went through that 40 pound bag of layer, layer feed um, in a few weeks um, and then I started making my batches of rice and beans again. Um, so I just did a week, there was one week where I had the layer feed and then this week I've started again with the um, rice and beans. And there was no lag in the laying going back from the layer feed to the rice and beans. In fact, they've been laying the same amount of eggs, eight to nine eggs a day from my, I have nine laying birds behind me. I have two older hens that are Rhode Island Reds that are about three years old. They basically stopped laying eggs uh, for some reason. So I have nine actively laying birds and almost, I've been getting an egg a day from all of those nine. 
uh, layers behind me on the rice and beans diet. So it has been working flawlessly. One thing though that I noticed that makes the my rice and beans recipe work the best is that the rice and beans alone is not enough to give the chickens what they need. So I definitely need to supplement their feed. And I wanna show you uh, what I've been using to give them a little bit extra boost of protein and nutrients. So, oh, this smells awesome. <laughs> the main way that I've been supplementing their rice and beans feed uh, is with black soldier fly larva. And specifically this company, Grubterra, soldier fly larva. This is a really cool company. Um, they're like a 100% sustainable company that sources all of the food scraps from like landfills and restaurants that would normally throw out food. They take all that stuff and produce black soldier fly larva for your chicken. Really good stuff. And you're not gonna get any complaints from the chickens from this stuff. In fact, they go crazy just at the sight of it. Oh my God, they want it right now. So um, if you're interested in giving your own chicken some black soldier fly larva from Grubterra, that company Grubterra recently reached out to me and gave me my very own discount code. It's called Tiny Farm. And if you use that code at Grubterra's website, you'll get 10% off your next purchase of soldier fly larva for your own chickens. So please check that out and use my code if you do. I would appreciate it. Woo! Who wants some? Who wants some? Anybody? They love this black soldier fly larva. It has lots of good stuff for them, specifically lots of extra protein. You know, chickens are not vegetarian. The other thing that I've noticed about feeding them the rice and beans diet is that it seems to work better when it's also supplemented not just with the black soldier fly larva which i do every day give them a handful or two of that black soldier fly larva it also works better when i have a big bucket of food scraps so we save a lot of food scraps from you know waste from when we're cooking like ends of onions garlic you know things that have gone bad in the fridge everything gets thrown into a bucket and when our bucket gets full enough we take it out and give it to the chickens and they go nuts for that stuff so when we also have that to add on to everything, the chickens are much happier. It's my belief the egg laying is a lot better. And yeah, you're just making your ch chickens a lot happier when you can combine the black soldier fly larva, food scraps, and the rice and beans. You've got a winning combo for happy egg laying chickens. So that's what I found my experience has been with trying to feed them the rice and beans. It's also, I think, if you do it the right way, it doesn't have to be very expensive. It can be a lot cheaper than buying uh, 30. I spent $30 for a 40 pound bag of feed. Rice and beans, you, you're you spending maybe $20 or less, depending on if you're getting organic beans or not. Um, that will make the cost a little bit higher. But if you buy this stuff in bulk, I think long-term you can totally save money over those store-bought feeds. And a lot of people have concerns with the store-bought feeds um, in recent months. So this way you could take control over your own local food supply, at least your own local egg supply, and know what ingredients your chickens are getting. With the rice and beans, you know exactly what they're getting so and where it comes from. So anyway, that's all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.